All right, we're gonna do a little drill uh, on 50-50 uh, and 50-0 uh, and uh, kind of look at some uh, options and some counters and some recounters along the way. So uh, just to start off with, um, it's important to kind of notice that this position here, the way it's uh, uh, seen right here, this is 50-50, all right? If you, if you were above looking down, you'd see that each person looks symmetrical. Um, so neither person really has any advantage other than the person that has more knowledge and experience in this position. So there's another position a lot of people don't know or if they know, they don't know by name. This is called 50-0. I tend to think of my position as the zero, his position as the 50. Although uh, I, I, uh, I feel as if I have the advantage in this position. As long as I'm on this side, um, you know, I've got my ankle locks, I've got my sweeps, uh, I've got my knee bars, uh, I've got my toe holds. Uh, but when he's got me on the other side like this, that's a little bit more complicated. Now, uh, you know, IBJJF, we're not allowed to do heel hooks. But if we could do uh, heel hooks, you know, that would be an option for me. He could, he could get my ankles. I just don't want to be over here. I want to be over there. So we do some drills that kind of teach us and train us to do that. So <clears throat> let's look at it starting from this position here like this, right? So I have 50 zero. I did a sweep. Okay, maybe I did it from a closed guard entry or, 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 or uh, spider guard or whatever. You know, I have some other videos on that. This position here, when I'm, in, when I'm here, I have to be extremely careful. Uh, you know, I'm very vulnerable to being swept off my quarter side or my hind side. So if I do a sweep here, normally it's not to stay and get the points, although it can be done. I'm looking at my knee bars my toe holds, uh, or possibly busting out into the reverse half and passing from there, okay? So when I'm here, okay, being that it's kind of a drill, my partner is gonna kinda protect the knee bar, and one way he does that is he grabs this sleeve here, like that, and that kinda messes with my ability to confirm and get on this knee. So while, so while he's got this little parachute, he's basically going to kind of get up underneath of me and take me over. All right, now once he gets here, let's bring, come around down here. Once he gets here, his position's a little different, right? He had the 50, I had the zero. He, he can hang here and get his points, uh, his two points for the sweep. Uh, um, worthy of note is that this looks a lot like a leg drag position. All right, looks a lot like a leg drag. Go ahead and stand up for a second. All right, you know, so I'm here like this and Oscar gets that leg and does a leg drag, all right? This is common, common pass, leg drag. So it looks a lot like the leg drag position. So being that it's a drill, and remember this, this video is about the drill, I'm looking for this hook here. I'm looking for this hook sooner rather than later. Now if I can get that hook and destroy his balance, I can still go for knee bars. I can still come up knee bars. I can still try to go to my reverse half. All right. Or I can hook it and come up. Oh, ankle locks. Of course, ankle locks. Hey, while we're here on this ankle lock, let's take a look at that for a second. <laughs> so I've seen this a lot, done a lot of different ways, and, and I kind of have my own little preference. Uh, Usually, you want feet on the hips. You want a nice grip uh, on the Achilles with your scaphoid right here. And usually, you grab your own knee or you grab the other side and you fall back and away in the arch and you get good stuff. All right? But the problem I've been having in this 50 0 position is maintaining control and keeping my opponent over here. They've been doing things to me, like grabbing my gi and doing things and, 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 and turning and holding over here, messing with me. And I can still get the ankle locks, but I like to go belly down. That's like the highest percentage submission from this position, and that's for a reason. The reason is that it works. So when I get in this position here like this, and I wanna sort of stay on this side, 
my right knee is kind of inhibiting that. It's a break, it's in the way. So if I can get rid of it, if I can get rid of it and make it straight, and then go, it's really painful. Some of you guys, when you do this, you might have some trouble when you come over getting your arm underneath the leg or underneath the ankle. So, like, look, this leg is kind of in the way. So what I'll do is I'll back up, get my space, and look where I am. And even though, I, I mean, sometimes I might not even get perfect position. Sometimes my, my wrist might be a little lower on this calf. This, this submission is so painful, you know what, it'll still work. So, you know, once I'm here, and I stretch that out and I roll, boom, it's so painful. All right? So I'm going to do the drill smooth this time, just show you and put all that stuff together. So we'll start maybe right here. My partner grabs my sleeve. He goes under. He sweeps. I look sooner rather than later for this leg. All right? Maybe I'll do a little knee bar. Right? Maybe I'm here like this. I come over. I'm looking. Little ankle lock moment. Oh, okay, it's not there. I grab this knee, I sit up, and we just keep going. Let's go this time. Look how much bridge. You get him up here like that. So that's a, a little 50-0 drill that we do. Bridge, bridge. 